this is going to be the baddest truck on the planet, period. Uh, I, don't, I don't know of anything else that can compete with it right now. You're looking at 440 foot-pounds of torque, and it doesn't stop with just torque, because diesel engines have good torque. This, this thing goes ahead and complements with 360 horsepower. I think it's safe to say that this is going to be the hottest truck engine on the planet. Our friends at Chevrolet are going to feel real bad about it. Our friends at Dodge are going to feel real bad about it. But that's what we're here to do, make them feel bad. Beyond power, you've got to be able to have a, a vehicle that handles that power in a nice, balanced way. You have to have a suspension system that can handle it. You have to have a braking system that can uh, deal with it. And uh, ultimately, you have to have a, a suspension package that will make it an enjoyable ride. Anybody that knows anything about vehicles or high-performance vehicles can look at this thing from a distance. And already you see, hey, that's a hot piece there. As soon as you see SBT on the back of any of our vehicles, you know that that's got a lot of Tabasco sauce under the hood, and you better be ready to deal with it. SVT stands for the Special Vehicle Team, and that name really says it all. It's a team of people that are dedicated to doing really special, unique vehicles. Well, SVT is always an exciting place to be, but in 1999, it's going to be outstanding. I like to think of the Lightning as the 800-pound gorilla of the SVT lineup. This vehicle takes the old Lightning to a completely new level. It's got better brakes, it's got better suspension. More power, more torque, better handling. Lightning's more than a pretty face. Well, really, with the Lightning, the excitement starts when you turn the key. It's all about presence. When that 5.4 liter engine rumbles to life, feel it in your chest. It's awesome, it's rough, it's tough, it's aggressive, it's in your face. It's ground pounding driving experience. It's every bit of truck, it's every bit of Ford truck. Now let's take a behind the scenes look at the products from the team that developed the 1999 Lightning. I can just go down through some of the things, that, the differences that we've done. Uh, the overall truck has been lowered about a half inch to three quarter of an inch in the front. The rear of the truck has been lowered about two and a half inches. If you look at this, the truck looks very even across and you know very level and makes it look really good with the big wheels and tires. It's very easy to drive. It's very predictable. You don't think you're going as fast as you're going. You, you drive around the handling track and go, gosh, I'm not really going that fast. And then you look at your times and you're like, holy cow, I'm running a half second to a second slower than a Cobra out here. We've retuned the springs. It's, it's a different spring rate. It's a 656 pound per inch spring. Obviously the dampers we've, we've tuned um, for the whole truck all the way around. It's, it's a unique SVT damping with a, the, a philosophy of keeping enough low speed control to control the body motions and then trying to blow off a lot of the high speed control. Uh, to try to eliminate some of the harshness, and it's stable at 140 miles an hour. The rear spring is a unique component that's a single stage. Most of the light truck, at least for Ford, uses a dual stage spring, which means you have two rates. It's a softer rate, and it builds up to a stiffer rate as you load it. Ours is a single stage, and what that does is it makes the truck easier to tune for vehicle dynamics. I think a lot of people assume that it's a performance truck, therefore it's going to be less durable. I think that might be a common misconception. This truck passes everything that our full heavy-duty F-250s, two-wheel drive trucks go through. This truck would have no problem towing two or three or even four snowmobiles because it has a 5,000 pound uh, trailer tow capacity. The brakes that we use on this truck are a combination of UN93, which is the, the, the Expedition, and our F-250 brakes. It's a 308 millimeter by 30 millimeter thick rotor in the front, so it's a very, very heavy rotor. And with anything with braking, the, the size of the rotor determines how much torque you can put down to the contact patch, and then the mass of it really dictates how, the, how it resists fade and how it dispenses heat. But uh, it, as I said, it does very, very well for both stopping and for fade. The ABS on this is an F-250 slash U193 combination. We worked with the supplier to make sure that we came up with a very good solution for, for wet and for dry and even for snow um, with the, the setup that we have in, in the Lightning, so it all works very, very well. 
the steering of the truck is uh, is very good. It's not what you would expect out of a pickup truck. It's um, the on center feel is very good compared to uh, typical sports cars, and then off center it's a very linear. Um, gain, meaning that when you put a steering angle in, it responds, and then as you keep putting more in, it responds linearly rather than a slow response and then really quick. And it's different because it's a feeling unlike anything that you've been in in a car because you're sitting up a little bit higher. If somebody wants something that's a lot of fun and that can still haul something that they use for recreation, whether it's a forerunner or whatever, th this is the, the ultimate machine. As a race car driver, I've been racing for 15 years. I've raced everything from formula cars to big, heavy GT1 or Trans Am type cars. My racing background is uh, autocrossing, and uh, I've autocrossed for probably 15 years before I came here. When I came here five years ago, it was the first place I looked. Where is SVT? Where are they making the cool stuff? This place here is a mecca for all the gearheads and motorheads in the company. We do the high performance specialty stuff here in, at Ford. We're the Hot Rod Headquarters. If you had to uh, describe this truck, this would be probably the best toy in the world to play with. It's pure toy, yet it hauls, and you can still put things in the bed, and you can still tow things with it. It's fast, it handles, it breaks. It's not a one-dimensional product. But when it's all by itself on a nice day, and if you get an opportunity to run at some type of track or anything, it'll stay with many cars that are out there in the, in the public right now. There's no question about it. When you pull up behind somebody, they get out of the way. You don't even have to honk your horn. And it's just a thrill. It is the ultimate toy, I think. If you drive this truck every day, you'll find out that it not only rides well, but it handles well, it brakes well, and it stops extremely well for such a heavy vehicle. You forget almost that it's a truck. But what's really staggering is the powertrain. And every racer will tell you, he'll always want more power. He'll say, it's underpowered, it's underpowered. Well, this vehicle gave us a lot of power. With SVT, what we take is a lot of the heart and soul of every car, which is its engine, and try to upgrade it. That's the first thing we do. Every powertrain attribute you ever wanted in a, in a sports vehicle is in this truck. But in this case, we went above and beyond anything we've done. This engine here is the heart and soul of the Lightning. It's a 5.4 supercharged V8 Triton engine. The stock Triton engine is a very stout, robust engine in its own right. We did very few modifications to make it into the SVT F-150 engine. The bottom end already has a forged crankshaft. The center forged rods are already in the engine. What we did is we put in different pistons. We've gone to a forged piston with a deeper dish to lower the compression ratio. And we've increased the wall thickness on the piston pin to allow for rigidity within that system. The cylinder heads are still the stock cylinder heads. We did an intake manifold and a blower, obviously, and an intercooler system, and a front-end uh, dress system that has a unique front-end drive for the blower alone, and that helps uh, produce the power. The performance highlights of this engine, 360 horsepower and 4,750 RPM. It's almost as fast as the Mustang Cobra. On top of this, with the horsepower that we have, we get to do a quarter mile at 97 miles an hour at 14.6 seconds. Torque is the story of, of trucks, obviously. Torque moves the, uh, the payload. It's a staggering 440 foot-pounds of torque, 3,000 RPM. In addition, we can take 800 pounds of cargo. We can tow 5,000 pounds with it. Certainly can fulfill most enthusiast needs for a vehicle that goes fast can haul things. This truck has the most rapid acceleration of any of our trucks we've built to date. It will accelerate from 0 to 60, 6.2 seconds. What you do is you just feel it in your body. It just goes right into the seat and you're like, whoa, this is great. It will accelerate from 0 to 100 and break back to 0 in 22 and a half seconds. That is supercar territory. And you just don't feel like it's a truck when you step back out and you look at it and you go, my God, it's a truck. I can't believe it. The top speed of this truck in closed course testing is 141 miles an hour. Car and drivers call it the fastest production truck in the world and we believe it. It just goes like gangbusters. It's fast as can be. It's really silky smooth. And the stability out of this is just unprecedented. The supercharger itself is a, just a means of boosting the pressure uh, inside the engine to make more power, but the secret to producing horsepower is intercooling. We've intercooled this 
with an air to water intercooler. After you supercharge or compress the air to 8 psi, you created a lot of heat in the air stream mixture. So what we've got is a lower radiator with a 12 volt electric pump pumping water up into the intercooler underneath the blower. What that does is drop significant temperature out of the blower and into the engine before it ignites. We can cool a mixture as much as 100 degrees Fahrenheit from the blower before the combustion chamber. Cooling the air gives you power. The engine block itself is a cast iron deep skirt Triton block and uh, the deep skirt allows the uh, crankshaft to have more structure around it for less flex and less flex means more power transmitted through the crankshaft to the flywheel. We have aluminum heads that are cast in our Essex aluminum plant. These aluminum heads are lightweight and the compression is uh, taken up by uh, the stock uh, cylinder head gasket. The center forged uh, alloy connecting rods are a very unique process to, uh, to this engine. What they do is they center forge the rod in one piece, then they crack it right at the, uh, in the middle of the rod bearing and put it back together again. This cracking process allows the rod to be matched exactly for very tight tolerances and very good quality fit. The exhaust in this particular vehicle, I personally had a lot to do with. It's always a challenge with any components and making fast vehicles is that there are certain government requirements that we have to meet. And noise is one of those. Yet you want to have this deep throaty, raspy, you know, 1960s type sound. Well, what we've done with the exhaust is it's true dual exhaust. We've gone ahead and redesigned the catalytic converters. And so there's two out, two in muffler system that allows a free flowing exhaust. And we're actually under 4% power loss. People that will understand that means that we're not losing very much power within the exhaust. So we get a nice free flowing sound, yet we're still within the legal limits. This vehicle here sounds great on the outside, but the cabin is much quieter. I kind of like it the best of the windows down. That way you get to hear it just a little bit more. Well, there's quite a few different changes within the transmission. We've taken a torque converter off of a diesel, uh, which are high torque, low speed applications. And uh, we did a lot of work with the transmission guys to redesign the torque converter to handle this kind of torque that we're producing out of this engine. This transmission has been modified by using a diesel insides in a gas case. The torque of this engine is so much that we've had to go to our power stroke diesel transmission technology to absorb it all. It shifts very firm but still um, acceptably well for the average customer. Uh, the more you push on it, the better it shifts. We kind of think our customer might like a nice positive shift that says, yeah, I've got power and I'm ready to go to second gear, here it is. Not saying that it's rough or abusive or anything like that, but I think it does meet the image of our customer and they'll find it very acceptable. This truck will uh, definitely raise eyebrows. With the 360 horsepower and 440 foot-pounds of torque, this thing sets you back in your seat like you haven't felt in another Ford product in a very long time. I'm Ellen Collins and I'm a design and release engineer for Ford. The interior on the 1999 Lightning is awesome. It matches the interior features that the customer is looking for with the performance the truck has to offer. The SVT products are developed for the driving enthusiast. So we've carried through some of the common cues that you would see in racing or performance vehicles. We have a unique uh, instrument cluster on the Lightning truck. It has the signature SVT white face gauges. At night when the, uh, when the headlights are on, the gauges have a soft bluish green cast to them and the uh, indicators or the pointers are orange. We also have the sportier seats with the additional lateral bolstering that you would see in a performance vehicle gives you the support and helps you keep the driver centered and positioned in the, in the seat and also provide comfort as well. Although it is a performance vehicle, we've allowed for three across seating. That's why we have the 60-40 seat. The seat back folds down and it's, it offers storage, armrest, as well as a cup holder. There is a four-spoke leather wrap steering wheel, which provides a sporty feel for the truck. Power windows, power locks are standard. 
along with the power driver seat. Another added driver convenience is having the uh, remote keyless entry feature, the actual key fob that they can use to lock and unlock the vehicle. The uh, anti-theft system is standard on the Lightning product. The uh, premium AM-FM cassette is standard on the Lightning and we offer an optional CD changer. The standard interior is medium graphite and we used a combination of ultra suede cloth and an embossed leather for the seating surfaces and then carried the textured leather through and have used it on the door insert panel and we've also added some color accents um, on the interior of the vehicle. And tied in with the accented of the dark ebony inserts in the seats um, really makes it a nice looking truck. The uh, 1999 Lightning is a great package. Not only does it have outstanding performance and a great looking exterior, but an awesome interior. This Lightning is big, bad, and fast, and that's only standing still. One of the uh, the hallmarks of an FCT product is the five-spoke open wheel. The open wheel gives us two things. It gives us a great brake cooling package and also gives us great visuals. You can see the brake hardware, you can see the discs, you can see the calipers, you can see actually what you're getting to stop this vehicle. We went in with the first 18-inch tire on a light truck. It's a 295-45ZR18. This vehicle is not speed limited by the tire. The wheel and tire package fills the openings. It provides absolutely great grip. Uh, we've measured the lateral G's at .85. That's in Corvette sports car territory. More than comments, we get looks. This truck is really looked at because it looks like an F-150 at first blush. Then you turn and look and see the front fascia and the lower grille. You slide around to the, to the side uh, ground effects. On the right side, it wraps around two three-inch exhaust pipes true dual exhaust system. These pipes have a unique coating on them. They're ceramic coated so that your average customer doesn't have to keep polishing his pipes. The ceramic coating keeps them nice and bright. This year we have three colors available. Bright red clear coat, black clear coat, and Oxford white clear coat. The guys that drive this truck are going to love it. We think we have the absolute greatest truck here. Well, as you've heard from the engineers, this is a very unique vehicle. The 360 horsepower, the torque, 440 foot-pounds, supercharged 5.4 liter V8, but it still retains all the sophistication and drivability of all the SVT products. The great braking, the great handling, you can pull up to 5,000 pounds with the Lightning. That means jet skis, race car, snowmobile, whatever it is that makes you tick. And the look, which is totally in your face, really says it all. Lightning is a unique animal. When you actually get behind the wheel, you won't even believe you're driving the truck. You'll swear you're in a sports car, just another foot higher off the road. And we're only going to make 4,000 of them in 1999. So it'll be a very exclusive vehicle as well. I think we've really succeeded in our mission to build the most exciting sport truck on the planet. There's really not much more I can say about it, because it really speaks for itself. It takes the truck to a new level, sport truck territory. Specifically, Lightning Sport Truck Territory. So I invite you to come down to your Ford SVT dealer and experience the Lightning yourself.